Chapter 4, Season 3. Really big season. And introducing the big jungle, middle of the map, new weapons, thermal DMR, all stuff like that. And of course, we got absolutely nothing for creative. Again! There are some little changes that they added into creative from this new season and two updates. But to be fair, can you really believe that it'll last us for like a couple more weeks before another update? Not to mention the summer update is kind of, you know, not the uh, best. And without further ado, let's get right into it. As you may see, this is what the uh, finished product is right here. Of course, uh, the tree is probably what you're here for entirely, so that's what we'll be doing first. The stone walls on the outer rim are optional, and of course, you can decorate this however you want to. It's really up to you on this factor. Specifically, from the uh, Swamp Nature Gallery, you're going to want to get this big tree right here and resize it as big as you possibly can just like the actual jungle trees and you'll get something like that then from the chapter 4 nature gallery and not that one uh, you're gonna want to grab this and then once you got it you're gonna shrink down the height a little and resize it a bit before you do that and you'll get something like this Then you're basically just going to want to place it on the little bush parts of the tree just as like a replacement. Place them a little bit low so the trunk of the chapter 4 tree isn't really visible for obvious reasons. Then you'll get something like that. It's already looking good so far. Of course you can redo this however you want. Make the tree the swamp tree however small you want it. So make sure not to go a little bit too big or a little bit too small else the chapter 4 tree won't really fit. Then in the sanctuary nature gallery specifically you're going to want to grab the uh, little vine pieces. Resize them up a bit to fit the tree and just like hang them off like the leaves. Resizing them would be a little bit better so you can actually see it. So. Mix it up a bit by changing the vine pieces. And then, boom, you got your jungle tree right there. Make sure it's under 100 uh, props, of course. Don't go a little bit too detailed. Like I said earlier, you can make a smaller one too if you like, just a little bit smaller to fit the uh, jungle a little bit more to make it more filled. And then in the chapter 4 cliff gallery, you're going to want to grab this dirty piece right here and resize it up a lot. And then you're going to want to shrink it down so it doesn't disappear after you place it. And then on grid snap 2, you should be able to make this little plot of land right here. It looks pretty nice, but also kind of very buggy. So do whatever you want. And then just kind of freestyle with the terrain a bit. Boom, there you go. You might want to decorate with the uh, trees that you just made and just place them all around the land. Then you'll end up with something like this. Of course, you can place the jungle trees on elevated terrain using the same piece to, you know, how we made that little plot of land right there. And of course, you can make the smaller one too. So you can just skip this if you want to, but I'm just going to make the smaller tree. And from the top, it should look like a jungle. Of course, you might want to decorate below the trees, specifically using this from the foliage gallery. 
like kind of decorate a little bit so it's not plain from the bottom. And then of course the most important part, you're gonna wanna add like little hills. So let's grab that and reset it back to its normal size. And then like before, you can just kind of do it however you want. Raise the trees, uh, jungle trees, if you want to like match with the hills, obviously. But do this however you want to really. Then from the Sanctuary Nature Gallery, from before, just place a bunch of, well, just plants around the ground so it, you know, it doesn't look so empty. Even resize it however you want to. Uh, I'd love to use the Chapter 4 bush, but unfortunately the only way to get that is from the bush bomb. So, uh, yeah, not really the best way to go. You're free to make more hills and raise the jungle trees up a bit so it doesn't, it's not all flat on top. Yeah, resize the plants a little bit to make it look like uh, bigger bushes and all different types of like flowers and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's all mossy, everything's just, it's mostly just messed up. Then, finally, for like a mud effect in the jungle, you're gonna wanna go to the Chapter 4 Rock Gallery. Grab this piece right here. The last piece in the gallery. And then basically where your hills are, you're just gonna wanna like place it along the edges a little bit to make it look like just a bunch of dirt. It rains a lot, making the mud. Do it however you want to. You can place it near the trees, the plants, do whatever. Also using some other rocks in the gallery, like this one. And then for the final part, this is optional. If you want it like the uh, chapter four, season three jungle with like the rock wall, you want to go back to your chapter 4 cliff gallery and grab this piece. You're going to tilt it a little bit and just place it along the edges of the land with the jungle. It's completely optional to do that. You can do that on your own time, but not in this video. But guys, that is it for the uh, jungle tutorial. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Taking your time to listen to these videos really makes me enjoy my time making them. And if you want more creative content, just make sure to subscribe and just really suggest what content you want to see from me. If it's either Unreal Engine or just making maps in general. But that is it, everyone. Bye-bye.